ho, ho, ho. Wrong season. But today we are doing Halloween. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you four DIY projects and they are all ghost themed. So I'll be showing you the lovely Gus the Ghost from Pottery Barn. So I'll be trying to do a little dupe on that one. Next we have, what else do we have? Oh, the thrifted ghost art painting. So I'm excited about that. And then another ghost pillow with um, using a mop head. And then lastly, this will be like an illuminated ghost. We'll be using this for our front porch. So those are the four things. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna start with is Gus the ghost. I feel like he was my first like inspiration for wanting to do this video and then I kept finding all kinds of other things I wanted to do. But anyways, let's start on him first. The first thing you're gonna need is a, a pillow. This is a actually an Ikea 20 by 20 inch pillow. So grab one of these. Next you'll need some twine to kind of section off the pillow. Scissors, of course. Some white Sherpa fabric. I couldn't find black Sherpa, but technically I would have preferred that one. So instead I just got some black fleece for his eyes. Uh, pick a small little pumpkin. Um, that way he can be like holding the little pumpkin. So I think that'll be cute. So that's all you need. And honestly, I feel like this should be a pretty quick DIY process. All right, like I said, grab your pillow. What I'm gonna do, one of the corners, I would push the corner in so it kind of creates a flatter surface and flip that over. So we're gonna take the twine and section it off into technically three sections. So this section here, and so you'll have a middle and then a bottom. Okay, I guess this part looks good. <laughs> And then just tie it into a bow. And then you can kind of um, flatten his head a little bit. And then one more, we're gonna tie it right here. Make sure you get enough. Okay. So there we go. This is pretty much our base to covering Gus up with. So I end up buying a yard of this white Sherpa at Hobby Lobby. And gosh, I think I got it for like six bucks for a one yard, which I thought was pretty good. And then the black felt I got at Walmart. I told her I really just kind of needed a strip, but she doubled it and it was only $1.72. So very, very inexpensive project. I figured with this, I'll just kind of place it, kind of see the length and everything that I like it. And then I'll cut it from there. I mean, technically I still have, I probably could have cut off more, but I still have a good amount of fabric left to where if I wanted to make a, like a little tiny Gus, um, I could do that too if I wanted. So really it's just kind of placing it. We'll put the two eyes here. This is where it's optional to where you can just place the two black eyes and then let it be. Um, or I think would be cute. You can take a hot glue gun, glue it like that. Like he's holding a little pumpkin. Oh, um, so with the illuminated ghost for the front porch that I talked about, I'm actually gonna be using the same black felt. So kill two birds with one stone. I just drew a circle, folded it in half. So when I cut this one, it'll actually cut out two. One reason I kind of like doing these DIY projects is don't get me wrong, I'm addicted to Target home decor, but sometimes making something of my own that I can use each season is kind of nice. It just it makes it unique. And even though you, somebody else can replicate the same thing, it's just, this is my version and I like that. Okay, so I will. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. Oh my word, this is so easy. And if that's all I have to do, Gus. I know. Okay, 
You could sew these on, you could like tape them on, super glue them on. I am going to be using my glue gun. Um, all I'll do is just uh, pull these off and put a little hot glue there and then stick them on. So I'm gonna turn this around, that way I can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> Gus is chunky, just the way we like him for Halloween. All right, so Gus looks so good. Now we are going to take the little pumpkin. All right, so I just um, hot glued this side and I'm just applying pressure. Next, I'll hot glue this one and I'll show you. Um, so right here in the old crack, and then I take the fabric, apply pressure because I really want to make sure it gets a good stick. So that way it doesn't go anywhere. You guys, it looks so cute. So I'm gonna turn him around here so you can see little Gus. Now, as you can tell, I have like a lot of excess fabric. So I'm just gonna kind of, for the most part, do like a little round shape and then just trim them up. Here's the final reveal of Gus the Ghost. He's so cute! I love him! Actually, it turned out better than what I thought. I wasn't too sure how this would turn out, but I love it. But I just wanna say, the pillow, the pumpkin, and the string, I already had this at home. So the only thing that I paid for was the white Sherpa and the black fleece. Total, I only spent $8 on this project. If you bought Gus the Ghost at Pottery Barn, this would be $80. So this is a heck of a DIY project. All right, so DIY project number two is, you've probably seen it on social media, like TikTok, Instagram, is the thrifted ghost art painting. We have like an estate uh, store here in our town and I found this one. I thought it was so cute. I got this for $12. I didn't have any paint or brushes, so I went to Walmart. These were like 50 cents a piece, so I got black, uh, white, and orange sherbet. So I'll do a ghost, a little pumpkin, maybe some bats, and then I picked up this little brush set. It comes with five different brushes. Um, starts out pretty teeny tiny small, so depending on the thickness, I've got a couple different options. Now, I can't tell you the last time I painted or drew a ghost, so I have my iPad here. I have a little picture of the uh, style of ghost that I wanna paint as kind of a little guideline to help me. Now we have the masterpiece. So beautiful. And I'm gonna go to town. So I don't think I'm going to use that much uh, paint, but I guess give it a good shake. All right, I guess it's go time. into the trees to so that the leaves are turning colors. I added two little ghosts down here, one peeking behind the tree, a um, little pumpkin, and then two little bats, um, and the sky. I think it turned out pretty cute. That was a lot of fun. It was kind of therapeutic. This one, what did I say? Like, I don't know, like $15, like around $15 for me to uh, purchase it. And honestly, I feel like $12 might have been a little bit on the high end. I had a friend got one out of her neighbor's trash and it was absolutely beautiful. So 
You honestly can find it anywhere. All right, now we're on to the next DIY project. Number three, my lord. Three, please number three, my lord. No, actually number three. Um, this one is, here, let me show you kind of the picture of the inspiration for this one. Jeez, do you want a sip? Well, anyways, this is the inspiration picture, uh, this pillow right here. That's what we're gonna make. Um, I found this pillow. So even though it's super cute, it has the little tassels, we're actually not using this side. We're gonna flip it over and use the plain side for our project. So the cool thing is for Halloween, when you have your cute little uh, uh, ghost pillow side this way, and you still wanna use the pillow, just flip it and then you can use it during the spring, summer, whatever you want. I actually got this pillow for 50% off at Target and it ended up being $10. And then I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up a mop head for a dollar. So this whole entire project will cost you 11 bucks. For this project, it's really pretty simple. You're just going to take your scissors, snip off, um, a piece of the string and you're gonna loop it. Then you'll clip another one, loop the middle, and then the very, very, very middle. It's really pretty simple. And then after that, we'll come in with a black Sharpie marker and make the little eyes. So let's get going. So I was actually going to just uh, cut off the three pieces of string from the mop head and then glue gun that down and then just do each one. I'm glad I didn't do that. I ended up cutting it and positioning it on the pillow, kind of figured out the spacing, how many I wanted on each uh, row. Actually, I'm so glad I did that because I had to kind of do some maneuvering and figure out the length. Um, so for this one, you can kind of see it's just laid. So I haven't glue gunned um, the little ghost to the pillow yet. And so yeah, three little strings and then I just trim it up and I did five, four, and five on this pillow. So just in case you do get this exact pillow, that way you know how many I did. So now we're just gonna glue gun it on. have to go in now with the sharpie and just draw um draw on the little eyes it's looking good here's one there's one little ghost so uh the dabbing technique is what has really been like helping so don't try to like like drag it just kind of blot it the final project. Woo! It looks so cute. I love it, it turned out great. Yeah, like I said, this only cost $11, 10 for the pillow, but if you have one at home that you're good to use, save the money there. And then this only costs a dollar. Like I said, I just snip, for each ghost, I would snip a total of three little strings and then just kinda lay it down like that. And then I trimmed off uh, the ends of the ghosts to kind of the length that I wanted and what fit the pillow. But it was so easy. A little time consuming, but super easy. All right, now on to the last project. The last and final project, DIY project number four. This one is going out on our front porch. So when we put our Halloween decorations, these will be little illuminated um, ghosts out there. 
So what I got in order to do this, I got the tomato cages. So I went to Lowe's, picked them up. Total between the two of these were like eight bucks. So not very much. I got a 42 inch and a 33 inch. So that way kind of have a little different heights for both. If you can find a different price, go for it. But what I was trying to look for is just a styrofoam ball because we're going to put it on the very top that'll be the shape of their head but one that was actually even smaller than this was like almost twenty dollars and i wasn't going to spend twenty dollars for two like 40 bucks so i found this at walmart it's half of a ball but it at least makes the shape that i need for the head so i think we'll be just fine um but each one of these were eight dollars so sixteen dollars total I think it's pretty pricey for what it is, but it was a lot cheaper option compared to getting a full ball and it wasn't even big enough. Next, we'll be using the black uh, felt that we used for Gus the Ghost. You'll want like a white sheet or a white fabric to drape over the ghost. I found this at Target for $6. It was a little um, sheet set, just plain white on clearance and I got it for six bucks. So we'll use that. And then you're also going to want to get little string lights. With the string lights, we're going to wrap it around to give it that illuminated look. So this one honestly should be really, really quick and easy to do. Let me put this down on the ground. So all you're gonna do is just press Oh, that's so simple. Yep, just press down. Um, and that way it gives us the top shape of the ghost. Number one, I'll just set that aside. All you do, like I said, just put it here and it's so simple to push down. So now we have two little frames of the ghost. Now I'm going to wrap the lights around it. All right, so with the bed sheets, so I just used the fitted sheet and I cut off all of the elastic. So now I'm just kind of trimming up the bottom so that it looks more kind of uh, even. Now that I have it all draped, I'm gonna put the two little eyes on here. So I grabbed the black felt that we used for Gus the ghost. I'm just going to fold it in half and then draw two circles, cut it out, and that should give me four. Four black beady little eyes. So I drew the two eyes, and let's cut. Ow! Ow, crap. It was hot. Okay. So these are our little ghosts that we're gonna go plug in on the front porch. I think they kind of look cute. I like them. I know. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Very cute. I always like to see from like the driveway to make sure it looks good. Spider. That's kind of cute. Who knows? Look at Huckleberry. All right, so that was all four DIY projects. Hopefully you love them. I feel like like Halloween DIY is my all-time favorite, so I loved doing all of these. Um, like I said, Gus was probably the easiest. This one was the most time-consuming. The painting and the ghosts, those were pretty quick too and everything, um, each individual thing was, was it $25 or less? And a lot of it was about like $10 ballpark. So very affordable to do all of these projects. But if you liked it and you wanna see more, definitely give this a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and comment if there's anything that you would like to see in the future. Bye.